Hello, Marcus Felter here. I'm the editor of the Omega Tau Science and Engineering podcast, and I want to tell you about my book. I wrote a book <laughs> based on some of the highlights of the Omega Tau interviews. Basically, it's about engineering for big science. Chapter one is about the uh, SOFIA Infrared Observatory, the telescope mounted on a 747 airplane. Chapter two is about my stay on the HMS Enterprise, the Royal Navy Hydrological Survey ship. I talk about shipping aspects and about the hydrology and the surveying. Chapter three is about aviation, from gliding over the SR-71 to my flights in the F-16, or my flight in the F-16s, I'm <laughs> regulating another one. Um, chapter four is about gravitational waves and the detectors um, and the discovery of the first gravitational wave. Chapter five is about models and their use in science and engineering. This is a slightly more theoretical chapter. Um, chapter number, uh, where am I? Five, no, six is about telescopes, you know, how they're engineered, how they work. I talk about ALMA, about the Event Horizon Telescope, about Effelsberg, about the LBT. And chapter seven is about the LHC and the discovery of the Higgs boson with the ATLAS and CMS experiments. The book has about 180,000 words. An average reader will spend about 13 to 14 hours reading that. It has 160 illustrations. I um, tried to become an illustrator, which I'm not sure was extremely successful. There should be a couple of uh, examples right here. Um, but I think the illustrations do help understand whatever I'm explaining. The book also has a bunch of formulas, which is why I was told that I'll never sell any copies of this book by the publisher's eye. Uh, approach. So please prove them wrong. Um, I worked on the book um, for about the last two years. It was a lot of work. Of course, I started basically, you know, transcribing um, some of the podcast episodes, but then I wanted to go a little bit deeper. And so I read additional papers, talked to a few additional people. And I noticed that, um, you know, explaining these things in my own words is really much harder than just asking sensible questions in an interview. And this is why I got every word of this book reviewed by at least one, often more than one, expert in the field to make sure the book is reasonably error-free. I'm sure there are still some left, but um, probably reasonable. So I want to convince you to get the book. Um, the book will be available in spring 2020 um, as ebook and of course paperback, but you can already register now. It's basically a, there should be a button somewhere up here. Um, that leads you to a Google form where you can put your email address and then I'll keep you posted as the book is published. Well, what else should I say? I hope you're going to buy it. Maybe you're going to buy it as a gift um, for people you know who are interested in science and engineering but who somehow can't fit earplugs into their life and don't listen to podcasts. Maybe that's an alternative. Should be a good geek gift. Oh, by the way, yes, it is in English because all of the books I've written so far, books for my professional work, were all in English. I did one in German, it was a bad experience. I had the book copy edited by my uh, trusted copy editor, Steve Rickaby. And uh, yeah, just more familiar writing in English. Um, I'm sure most of you will still be fine. It's not advanced English because I'm not capable of writing that. So it should be understandable also for non-native speakers. All right, register. Buy the book. Thank you.